I'm Katrina and this is Sew and Tear. And today I'm gonna to show you what we do with our birds once we have culled them. So once we've butchered and rinsed them, they go into a cooler and that cooler is has ice in it. And we let them set there for 24 to 48 hours. And what that does is it lets the bird go through rigor mortis and um, you're gonna get a softer meat at that point if you do that. If you don't do that, then you can get it to be tougher and um, I just like to do 24 to 48 hours. Wait until the, the you know the wings and the leg or the wings. Wait until the legs you know you can move on move them pretty easily again, um, and then you can take them out and then process them for the freezer, or eat them. Um, but we do something a little bit different. To save on money, we put frozen water bottles into a clean Ziploc bag and put that into a cooler. And this is our ice. That is good enough for what we need it to be. We trade them out when they when they melt and it keeps it cold enough that it works great. So that's what we do. We put this in, fill it up with water, make sure this is sealed tight. Um, again, this is for home use. We rinse them again before we put them in the freezer. So what I do is I put these into the cooler and then put water on top of it and that keeps it cold. So this has enough room that their ice will make it cold and then we, the birds will fit in there. So we're halfway there with cold water. We have one, one quail mobile's worth in there and we'll be changing the water 24 hours. All right, some people might find this gross. So, here we go. You guys saw that we bled out, well you didn't see. We bled out the quail, and still, there is this much more that comes out in the water. This is a little bit more than 24 hours. I Ideally, this I would do this at like 12 to 18 hours. But I need to change out this water. It's still cold. I also need to change out the water bottles um, again. So I already changed, I've been changing out the water bottles throughout the day, but um, to keep this cold, we need to do that. And so I'll come back with clean water and show you what it looks like. So I'm just gonna take out the quail, put them in a bowl while I change the water. Now, if you don't change the water and you just leave it in this, um, your meat is going to smell. And in order to have clean meat, that's good. And boy, this water is cold, <laughs> which is a good thing. It's just really cold. Um, then you're gonna have um, a better end product if you change this water. Ideally, before now. And honestly, I think the rigor mortis, here I'll show you, the, the rigor mortis is still there, so we do need to go another day. I'll show you what that looks like when I get them all out. Boy, this is cold. So let me show you, unzoom. Let me show you what I mean by rigor mortis. So this is the back leg. It should be able to bend all the way. Right now, I can't bend it. That's as far as I can bend it. So you wanna wait until your meat, until it goes through the relaxing process. And I'll show you probably tomorrow what that looks like. 
Um, you can see it doesn't bend that far. It should be able to bend all the way. So there you go. Um, this water is going to be super nutritive for your plants. So if you have, um, ordinarily I would use this in my, in my green stalks actually, and then add some water in with it, um, because they are a container plant, but they just got a bunch of water and it's been raining. So I'm going to dump this. Where should I dump this? I'm going to dump this near my avocado tree because I think it needs a little more nutrition. So that's something you can plan for. And then I'm going to rinse this out just a little bit, put more water in, and then put more ice in and we'll be good. All right, let's put these birdies back in. Now, because we changed the water, this water is not cold. So it's nighttime when I'm doing this. So I'm expecting that I am going to um, bring out and change the ice water bottles in the morning, just because it takes um, some energy to get them, um, to get them, you know, to get the water cold enough. Now that same tension that I showed you in the legs is also in the breast. You can tell um, just by feeling. It's kind of hard to show on the video, but it is more, um, more uh, stiff, I guess. All right, so there are all our birds. They're all underneath the water line. And now I'm gonna change out the water bottles. So a couple of these already are still have ice in them, so I'm just going to add an ice water bottle to the bag. Again, that's just to keep things clean and and to save money on making ice because these are refreezable. And I think that's good for now. I have more that I can put in tomorrow to substitute them out. And that'll be good. So it's a little past 48 hours. And you can see this water, while has some color, definitely does not have the same color as the first one, which means it's much more rinsed out. <clears throat> and the um, quail are definitely, they should be good. So, I'm just going to show you guys this one here. Sorry, the lighting's not that great in this room. But you remember before we could only move it like that? This one can go all the way in, all the way out. That's what you're waiting for. These legs move. If you save the wings, the wings would be able to move. But I did not save the wings. Um, you're going to have some feathers on here. But that's what you're looking for. That's going to be some nice tender meat when you cook it. So I'll put up in the in the corner here a link showing how I prepare these from this point to the to the freezer. Um, I don't feel I need to show you guys here. You guys can just click on the link. I'll also put it on the end screen. And so I realized that while I showed you guys how bendable the legs are now, I did not show you with the breast. So remember before I just basically put my thumb on it and nothing happened. Now you can see how tender that is. And you can even move it. Um, it's that tender. So that's what you're looking for um, to not have r tough meat and to have tender meat. Super good. I hope you guys enjoy your day and now you know why an ice bath is important and how to do it. I hope you have a wonderful day. You can um, do this so you have tender, tender meat. And please like and subscribe and share with someone who needs some tender meat. Enjoy the day.